In July 2022, Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman announces the Line City project. Then that broke the internet. Saudi Arabia has just shocked the world. At first I thought it was a metaverse project, but it is a real project. Saudi Arabia wants to build a city dubbed The Line. The Lion? I want no part of that. I'm going to be reacting to The Line. This is definitely just a way for those in power to have more control. The ingenious design of the city of future. It's designed in three dimensions. Who do you think is going to be at the top? He proposed two parallel 500-meter-tall skyscrapers made of reflective glass which are supposed to span 170 kilometers through the desert. This would be equivalent to two lines consisting of 2,001 wood trade centers each. The line is not just the biggest megaproject ever proposed. It's a new way of leaving. There would be no cars inside the city and everything you need would be within a five-minute walk. The city will be powered by renewable energy, including wind, solar and hydrogen power and will reportedly become the first city in the world to be powered by renewable energy. All of this would make the line a zero-carbon city. There was hardly any information on what was really happening. Therefore, almost everyone believed that the line was just a publicity stunt to gain attention. But then, around three months after the presentation of Line City, things took a surprising trend. Construction began. Drone footage shot by OT Sky, an aerial photography company, shows that Saudi Arabia has started building the futuristic megacity, the line, in the desert of Tabuk despite the long-held assumptions that this was nothing but a utopian fantasy. The video gives us a glimpse of numerous trucks, excavators, and construction workers digging a trench in the desert. The megacity is part of the NOM initiative, which aims to build futuristic, tourist-centric smart regions in Saudi Arabia. No roads, cars or emissions, it will run on 100% renewable energy and 95% of land will be preserved for nature. People's health and well-being will be prioritized over transportation and infrastructure, unlike traditional cities. Only 200 meters wide, but 170 kilometers long and 500 meters above sea level. The line will eventually accommodate 9 million people and will be built on a footprint of just 34 square kilometers. This will mean a reduced infrastructure footprint, creating never-before-seen efficiencies in city functions. The ideal climate all year round will ensure that residents can enjoy the surrounding nature. Residents will also have access to all facilities within a 5-minute walk, in addition to high-speed rail, with an end-to-end -end transit of 20 minutes. Many experts don't believe in the project. Critics have called this project an unlivable, unrealistic dream that would not be as sustainable as wanted. Take, for example, Rowan Moore, the Guardian's architecture specialist, who argues how a megacity of this level could be sustainable when its construction will produce over 1.8 billion tons of carbon dioxide. He also questions the benefit of a city this large in the middle of nowhere that it be constantly controlled and surveilled. He pointed out that there have been human rights violations due to this prestigious project, where several men were arrested and sentenced to death for protesting their eviction from their homes after their land was seized for the project. There's much controversy surrounding the line, and many doubt it'll ever really be built. For now, we'll just wait and see what comes of it.